you can start from the shoulder to the upper arm to the lower arm to the wrist or you can start from the end of the arm at the wrist and then have everything else follow that movement. That's FK versus IK. And each mode kind of has its own purposes. Uh, FK is very predictable, it's more precise. You're starting from the top and going down and you have control over every part of it. And it's rotation based, so curves are a lot easier. Meanwhile, IK is all about positioning the end of the chain. So naturally it's better at straight motions. So if you wanted to have your character throw a punch, for example, you would probably do that in IK because you can have the punch go in a straight line. FK is good at animating rotations while IK is good at animating positions. But that doesn't mean you need to necessarily stick to either one. You can wind up the punch in FK and then throw the punch in IK. Or since IK is good at keeping a hand stuck in place, then you can have it stuck on a table. Let's say you need to have one of your arms or hands stick to something that's moving. Like if you have two hands on a pole, you can set one arm to IK and you can even have the other arm in FK and have it move around while the IK arm is stuck to it and rotating with it. 